today. My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make smoked Polish kielbasa. Now, this is my first official cooking video since moving to Wisconsin, and I wanted to do something simple, easy, because uh, we're still kind of in the process of uh, unpacking and getting familiar with the area. And I wanted to do something that would feature stuff from Wisconsin. So when we were at the store the other day, I came across these fresh, never frozen Polish kielbasa by a company called U Usingers, which I guess is out of uh, Milwaukee, and they've been making sausages since 1880. I have some onions, some peppers, I got some Bavarian sauerkraut, also made in Wisconsin. And of course, I'm gonna be reviewing a local Wisconsin beer here that's only available in Wisconsin, but it's got a pretty loyal following. So stick around, I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Alright, so I chopped up a couple onions, a couple green peppers. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil on the top. You can use whatever kind of oil you have. I have a couple, well how much is this here? This is around two and a half, three tablespoons of minced garlic. I love garlic. If you don't like garlic, don't put garlic in. You can put whatever seasonings you want. But I'm just going to kind of keep it kind of simple today. And then I got some uh, Lowry's uh, seasoning salt. We'll put a little bit of that on top. And some ground black pepper. And that's it. And then I'm going to throw this on the smoker with those Polish kielbasa. And it's going to be a drip pan underneath. So if any of those juices from those sausages drip down, they're going to help season these vegetables. Now I got some... Uh, uh, some gloves on here. You can use a spoon, a spatula. I just think it's easier just to kind of get your hands in here, kind of coat the vegetables with the oil. Get everything mixed together nicely. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get those sausages out. And I'll uh, meet you guys outside. I got my smoke hollow smoker fired up. We're going to try to keep it around 200 degrees, maybe 225 top. We don't want to go too much higher because you can end up uh, drying out the sausage. If you get it too hot, they might uh, explode a little bit and have all those delicious juices drip out. So there you go, just like that. Not too complicated. All right, meet you guys outside with the sausage. See you out there by the smoker. All right, guys, my smoker's been going for around 20 minutes. It's hovering just under 200. Uh, got the onions and peppers seasoned up on the bottom tray, like I said. And I got the sausages on top. And I'm figuring this is going to take anywhere between two and three hours because I'm going to keep that temperature low. We want to get these sausages up to around 155, 160, and then they're done. But we want to allow a couple hours of smoke. Uh, I'm using applewood with just probably 80% applewood and then a couple pieces of hickory. Hickory by itself might be too strong. So there you go. We'll uh, come back and check on it in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm thirsty. I'm going to go have a beer. See you guys inside. All right, guys, since I have around uh, two and a half, three hours to go, time for a beverage review. Now, I've heard about this since moving to Wisconsin. It's New Glarus Brewing Company, and they only make beer for the state of Wisconsin, but it's got a loyal following. This is called Spotted Cow. They have some other varieties, but uh, New Glarus, Wisconsin, employee owned. So that's what I'm having. And this is my daughter, Ava Grace, hey. and my son, Kyle. By the, way, by the way, guys, this is our first drink review at this house. Yeah, first drink review in this but house. We're Wisconsin. Only, we're only being at this house for a year, but that's just <laughs> So, we found some new Bolt House flavor smoothies here in Wisconsin that we couldn't get in California, believe it or not. This one's called uh, Protein Plus. It's banana, honey, and almond butter, mm -hmm. which sounds good. That's what Ava Grace is yeah. going to try. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Kyle is trying something. What was the name of that candy the store? store? If Ands or Butts. This candy store is called If Ands or Butts in the city of Eau Claire. 
and they just opened up we saw it on the local Wisconsin news so we went down there and they have a lot of craft sodas and this is called State Fair Soda Kettle Corn which uh, that might be good or <laughs> it might be bad but that's what Kyle's gonna have okay so anyway let's get these open yeah, all right hang on let's uh, I'll open yours and mine and then I'll help pour Ava Grace's all right I can open hers. I got it. Here, you pour this. There you go. All right, thank you. Give me the cup. See, he's helping you. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So, Ava Grace, you're gonna have this. Hey, I don't want to get it in your hair. Hair? There you go. No, my hair is behind. I know, but when you you dip your head down, you might. Now, how does that smell, Kyle? I'm curious. Apples. Apples. Yeah, kind of just smell like apples. That was a joke. And one thing I noticed, being in Wisconsin, Ooh. they seem to really like their beer here, as you might guess. And most of their beer smells is like a little less alcohol content than 5%. Anywhere from 4.2 to 4.8. I think just because they prefer a lighter beer, because I think they drink a lot of them. <laughs> so it's not like one or two beers. It's like they might drink seven or eight over the course of several hours. And I think... Uh, you know, when I go to the store, Miller Lite, uh, Ultra, Michelob Ultra, they have Natural Light, they have all this low calorie, uh, lower alcohol content beer, and I think this is included. Although I've had right. this before. Anyway, I like to smell beer. Again, guys, smell I appreciate you watching our video. First new uh, cooking video in the state of Wisconsin. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Good. Cheers. Smell Cheers. popcorn. Let me smell. Yeah, I know. I love it. Oh, it does. It smells I, like movie theater popcorn. I smell it too like a thousand times. All right, well, let's uh, look at the camera. Let's do one last cheers. Let's give it a sip. Tell them what we think. All right. Yeah. This is good. I mean, it's a light beer, so don't think there's not a lot of hops present. But it is more flavorful than what you would typically find in a lighter type beer, like a Pilsner type. And it's very drinkable, very smooth. It's got a very pleasant taste. It's like a mild wheat flavored beer. I think it is a wheat beer. It certainly looks like it. This all is right. really good, actually. All right. Ava Grace, don't drink it all. Stop. Look at the camera. Tell them what you think. I love it. It's one of my favorite bull test farms. Banana, honey, and almond butter. So yeah. can you taste the bananas and the honey and the almonds? And the butter. And the butter? <laughs> she loves butter. All right, and Kyle, you said this is really good? What's that sound? That's just the uh, wind blowing the blinds. Right. This has, it, it's really sweet at first, and then it like really quickly turns into like a, um, let me try. And it has like a little bit of an aftertaste, and it tastes like, kind of like candy almost. Wow. That does taste like I popcorn. Love, I do love the smell. We should get that smell. It popcorn. looks like the consistency so of the oil <laughs> you would put in a popcorn maker. We should get this some other time. It's super good. You like that? Wow, <laughs> I wonder what's the calorie on that. That tastes sweet. It's good. 43 grams of carbohydrates. <laughs> oh, and I, and 43 I, grams of sugar. Kyle, I really love that sweet smell of it. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, I got my smoke hollow smoker sitting up in front of our garage outside. Uh... I'm going to hang out there and check it out two to three hours. Like I said, we're going for an internal temperature of around 155 to 165 degrees. We just want to do it nice and slow because we want them to absorb some smoke. and We don't want to burst open those casings and have all that delicious uh, juices drip out. In the meantime, we're going to enjoy these drinks. Cheers. Cheers to our viewers one last time. Yep. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, we'll give this a good stir. Yeah, they're getting tender. Not quite there. And let's take a look at these. You know, I think I'm gonna flip these over. 
So let me do that. All right, it's been around an hour and 45 minutes. We're hovering around 190 degrees. Let's take a look here. Let's give this a good stir. Yeah, they're definitely getting tender, but it's not quite there yet. Not quite. But we're getting close. All right, I'm going to take a quick temperature reading here just to see where we're at. Let's, uh, let's pick one up here in the middle. Let's see here. One fifty-three. Okay, you know what? We're just about there. I'm gonna like crank it up and I give it one last dose of smoke, and uh, yeah, we'll try to get up maybe two hundred, two twenty-five, and we should be done in probably twenty minutes to half hour. Right, I'm just gonna slice into one of these, although we're gonna eat them in sandwiches, but I just can't resist. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, it smells so good. There's a little bit of a smoke ring. You can tell. Here. I can't take it anymore. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Man, is that good. Oh, okay. We'll slice this up. I'll get the family up here. We'll put some uh, sandwiches together and we'll try this on camera. Be back in a minute. All right, so I have some sauerkraut, I have some sausage and peppers. I sliced uh, one of the sausages up here with some uh, stone ground mustard for us to try on camera. But uh, the main thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make these uh, sandwiches here. I'm gonna start off by uh, putting a little bit of that uh, stone ground mustard on the bottom. It's kind of like the binder there. Ooh, there we go. Okay. We're gonna put some of that some of these sausage, or these peppers and onions, the sausage. I got sausage on my mind. All right, hang on. There you go. We'll put a little bit of sauerkraut in there. These sausages are so big, I don't even know. Oh, look at that. Is it ever too big? All right. <laughs> I'll continue to make these up. I might have to slice them in half maybe take a few inches off the end but yeah let me assemble these we'll be back in a minute. all right welcome back i'm here with my whole family my wife monica Hi. my daughter Ava grace my son kyle hello so look i sliced one up there grab your fork i got some uh stone ground mustard and Ava grace is going to try some sauerkraut yeah but before dad thought you know, we can't do it but now we find the whole family let's see hey, maybe you can do a dip yeah. no just try the sauerkraut Okay. And all I did was smoke it, but the sauce oh. is quality. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like the smoky flavor, and what I can see the ring on it. Yeah, it's got a little smoke ring. Can it's you see good. the smoke no, ring? What about the quality of the meat? It's very, very good. I can tell it's uh, fresh, local. It's different than when you buy it pre-packaged. Right, any, anyone has the guts to try one of those sandwiches? <laughs> How's your sauerkraut? Yeah. You want to try one of those sandwiches, Kyle? Um, I'll eat that off camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those can get messy. Oh, this is really good. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Mm -hmm. I would love it if you would also consider it. subscribing. Mm -hmm. You're eating uh, the sauerkraut? Mm -hmm. All right. I love, it. I love it. Check out the link above and below to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Go ahead, Kyle. Pick up one of those sandwiches. No, it's fine. He'll do it off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Right, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. There's little seeds in here as well. Those are caraway sweets. Caraway seeds.